Hello, today we're going to talk about the basics of creating a home movie and video slideshow using Movie Reveal X. So we're going to cover adding photo and video to your movie, because that's sort of the basis of the slideshow. So adding photos and video, uh, choosing a style, and playing around with the music, uh, creating titles and captions, and explaining what they are and how to share your movie online. So first of all, for uh, adding photo and video to your movie, uh, you just go to add and you go from my computer. And as you can see, I have a bunch of uh, photos from a recent trip I took to the Caribbean. So I'm going to select, um, I don't know, about 12. That's actually 15, but anyway, um, you can also, if there's some that you're not so, you're happy with, you can also use control, and while holding down the control button, you can actually remove some, some photos as well, if you don't want to have those there. So anyways, we're going to put those in. Super simple. Remember that you can also um, drag them around. So you can t really tell a story. So let's get this one over here. So the, the beach ones are together. Uh, some beautiful, beautiful images of uh, both the beach and the pool. And next, um, well, so that's, that's it. That's pretty simple, isn't it? Um, so next, uh, you know, you want to choose a style. So all you do is you go over to the Styles tab over here. We've got all styles here. And you scroll through some that, that might look like they're going to work for your particular photos. Um, Polaroid is, is kind of a neat one. Um, but I don't think, I don't like the, in this case, I don't like the background. It's not as suitable for uh, pictures of, these great pictures of the resort. Uh, I tend to like uh, Postcard. So... Uh, postcard is 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 kind of has a cool travel feel to it. Um, one thing that you want to do though is is um, you want to make sure that people are going to watch your video, and and to do that, shorter is often better. So you know, around a minute, it's short and sweet. It's, it's you're not going to be stuck uh, watching a a slideshow forever. So in order to change the length of the style, just go to change the music, and you go over here. And you'll see these little tabs here, and you can actually shorten the music, and it tells you how long it's going to be. So I've got it to about a minute here, and that should be okay. And you click OK. And then just press play to see what happens. It's analyzing the media. It's making the movie. So here this is inserted. And you can hear some music in the background. <laughs> Okay, I like that. It looks pretty cool. So next, uh, let's take a look at creating titles, credits, and captions. And so captions are basically, uh, they go with your, your photo. And to do that, you just right-click on the photo, select caption, and type something in. So I'm going to call this sand sculpture. You can also have a subtitle there, but uh, we don't need to do that. Um, titles and credits uh, are kind of like what they they <clears throat> they say they say they are. So titles appear at the start of your movie, and credits appear at the end. So to do that, go down to personalize, select personalize, and you look up here, and look, you've got titles and credits. So here's let's do the title first. We're going to call this Caribbean. Vacation. <laughs> Twenty twelve, because we went there in December. 
and you can actually preview to see what it's going to look like. There it is. Hopefully you can see it. It might be a little faint on your screen. Then go to credits. And credits are kind of like the end, end credits of a movie. So, just say, and we'll call it once again maybe Caribbean Vacation. And if you have a blog or something, or your own YouTube channel, you can say, you can put in your blog name. So people can see more of your, your, your home movies. And once again, you can preview. And notice that you can change uh, the, the fonts, all sorts of options here. But I'm happy with this now. So press OK. We're OK here. And now it's time to save the movie. Uh, movie, this this project here is saved in a in a special format that called RVL format that actually pulls everything together from your computer. If you want to see to have people actually watch your video, you'll have to save it in a different file format. And movie is really cool in that it saves movies uh, in any kind of file format. You can upload to Movie Cloud, which is really cool, uh, Facebook, uh, YouTube. And I often like to save a file on my computer. Uh, type in a name. I'm going to just call my new movie 011. And you can choose here a file format. You have a number of different options. AVI, take a look at how big that is. I like to save in WMV. It's, it's relatively small. It has great, uh, it preserves the quality really well. Um, YouTube can read it, obviously Windows Media Player can read it, so that's what I'm going to save it as. And then you save it. And you're done. Thanks for listening. Um, hope you have fun making movies. We'll talk to you later.